All right, everyone, I am so excited to be here with Alexandra, one of our family members, one of my students. Alexandra, how are you? Oh, never been better, teacher. Thank you so much. How about you? <laughs> I am feeling amazing. You know, Alexandra, I took a short nap after lunch today and I feel rejuvenated. I feel refreshed. <laughs> so I feel really oh, good. Oh, that's amazing. Actually, uh, yes. you took a nap, but here is almost night because it's almost 8 p.m. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, you know what, Alexandra? I know you well. For those listening or watching, can you tell us more about yourself? You said where you live is about 8 p.m. So tell us, where do you live? Where are you from? What are your hobbies? Tell us about you. Thank you, teacher. So uh -huh. first of all, it's an honor to be here. Thank you so much for the opportunity you gave us. It's uh -huh. uh, it's amazing to, to talk to you like this. Oh, it's my pleasure. <laughs> and, uh, so I'm from Poland. I live in Krakow. It's a very beautiful city on the south of Poland. And okay. uh, in our city, is like the Krakow is a really old city. So in the main square, in the main square actually is the old town. So you can see a beautiful castle in the in the main square on the hill. And it's an amazing landmark. And actually, wherever you will go around, you will see the landmark. So this is an amazing place. I love <laughs> so this it. is about a little bit about my about my um the place where I live. But mm. personally. Or maybe professionally, yeah. <laughs> I am a financial consultant. So right now about me a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in, uh, so this is this is what I do professionally. But uh, right now actually I am on my parental leave, and during this time I was I was uh, running my own business as well. But as I said, I am on my parental leave because I have three kids and I am wow. a mom. A yeah. wife, a daughter, and <laughs> I and love it. Actually, I love, yeah, I love people. I love my life. I love actually uh, challenging things. And about me, about my hobby, I love interior design. This is actually me. This is what I love. <laughs> nice. I love it. I love it. Well, one thing, you know, you've been a part of our family in the academy. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But one thing I've always liked about you, Alexandra, every time you join one of our live classes or I see you, you're always smiling and I love it. So you have a wonderful smile and I can tell you love people thank as you. well. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And actually, same to you, teacher. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So you let me know this. Pleasure. Oh. Yeah. So let me know this. So you said you have three children, you're married, you're on paternal leave right now, and you said you enjoy interior design. So we've learned a little bit more about you. Those listening and those watching are gonna be very curious to know when you actually started studying English, because you seem very confident, which I'm very proud of you, and it seems <laughs> like you've been studying for a while. So can you tell us when did you start studying English and why? This is. It seems to be a very easy question to answer, but mm. actually it's not. Because in my case, uh, I started to study English at school because it's, uh, mm. it's, it's, uh, we, have, uh, uh, we have English at school. It was different before when I started because actually we didn't start English from the beginning of school. It's just in the end of primary school and then in the high school and a little bit in the on the university. But uh, in my opinion, uh -huh. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> if you would like to study English at school, it's not a good way to speak English. Mm. <laughs> in my case, uh, it was actually I did. If to be honest, it's my first course. It's my first course I joined. It's actually uh, this one is the first one. Wow. But <laughs> uh, I studied for one year with my friend when I was in high school. I think in the on the first grade, mm -hmm. and uh, I studied with my older friend. She teach me a little bit because, uh, as I said before, if I would like to 
to <laughs> to study English at school. It's like you know, it was it was the old school of teaching, and right yeah. now it's a little bit different. But uh, we studied only grammar, but it wasn't even a grammar. It's like you, it's not possible to speak after that. It's it's very sad, but this is the truth. Yeah, and. <laughs> But I was lucky, I think. But my story is a little bit is, is different as well because I loved English from the very beginning of my life. Uh, as I mentioned, it was a different life yeah. those several years before because we didn't have the opportunity to go to join the, the courses, the lessons and stuff like that. Yeah. And actually... Even when I was a kid, I really, I had a dream. I wanted to speak English. I wanted to, it was funny. I, there's a story about this because even when I was really young, I was, yeah, I was about seven or eight. I I, I have a cousin. She's in the same age as I am. And we were, when we were going out, we were mm -hmm. playing like, hey, let's speak in English. But it yeah. was like, uh, we were speaking English blah 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 and uh -huh. we were like everyone will be thinking we are speaking in english it was <laughs> it was so funny but you know we couldn't even say the word because we didn't know anything but we just we had we just really wanted to be so smart and <laughs> yeah but yeah but in as i said i was i think why i speak english because i think i was surrounded by by people who could actually speak English. And, yeah. and I think it was some kind of studying for listening because I could listen a lot of language and I could gain as much as I could. I think it's like if we are experienced by something, uh, we can we can we can gain as much as we can from it. Yeah. And this is this is the best thing and even and especially if we want something right so if we will connect it yeah <laughs> um, it's 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 how it is and <laughs> i love it as I said, it wasn't easy to answer <laughs> it's okay it wasn't my case <laughs> it's okay I, I like how you said you and your friend used to play back in the day and say blah 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 you didn't really yeah. know what you were saying but you yeah. kind of enjoyed playing around and acting like you were speaking english so it's kind of like your english journey started off with you being happy and it, it yeah. looks like you're still happy today, which is yeah. great. So that's a good thing. So, okay. So now you mentioned that this is the first program after school that you've entered. So I want to kind of move forward then and ask you this, because those listening or watching, they might not know which program you're a part of. So again, those watching or listening, I have two main programs, the daily English lessons membership and also speak English like a native. Now I know, but Alexandra, can you tell them which program you're in? And then why did you choose this program? Because it's the first one. Why did you choose it? Oh, this is another amazing story, actually. I think it's some kind of, it's not a coincidence, but uh, I am a member of Speak English Like a Native. Mm. And I joined, of course, because of you, your teacher. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Like, but this is a funny story because as I mentioned, I am a mother mm -hmm. and actually I have also a small um, kid and she, my youngest daughter, she, she was three actually in September and it was the first time when she could go to the kindergarten mm -hmm. and my, my boys are older and they are actually going to the, to, to the primary school, but mm -hmm. she, she went to the kindergarten and this was the time when I, <laughs> when I found few minutes for myself and it was the yeah. first day after almost 10 years when I realized that, wow, I can do something for myself. Wow. And as I said, it's a, it's very important for me because it was the first day I, I decided to, okay, I will go out, I will go run. And I went to run. And in the first day I was listening to the music because I love music. And mm -hmm. this is also the part, the big part of my life. Uh -huh. And, <laughs> and, but in the second day I was like, uh -huh. okay, 
I listen a lot of music and I can do this whatever I do when when I drive when I whatever I do I listen to the music I listen a lot of music and then I realized hey I need to do something for myself and the first thing which popped in my head was oh yes why I I would love to speak in English and I was I still I was thinking that I need to improve myself because I still don't feel so comfortable. Mm. And I wrote down on YouTube English lesson. Wow. And I saw you. Really? I saw a lot of lessons. Yes, but you know, I saw a lot of you know, a lot of English teachers because it was like the first searching. Yeah. But when I saw you, it was some I'm sorry, it was some so funny you know face I just loved your face when I saw you I am not the person who followed the crowd but it's uh -huh. like I love to take something you know something special uh -huh. and when I saw you so your videos I was like oh I have to check this and it was uh -huh. the first video I was like wow <laughs> and I I jumped right in <laughs> oh I love it I love it no, it was it was actually amazing because I I took you all like I took all your all your personality and it was first movie second movie and I was like I started to study my my husband was laughing at me not in a bad way but right. in a positive like yeah. right, like you know it was like wow you're such a studious person right now I was like yeah. yes I went to store, I bought a notebook and then yes. you know, I you know, some pen. Like I felt like a little girl again at school. <laughs> I love it. I, I love like, it. I was, I was, you know, I was walking every day mm. and I was listening to your videos and then I was coming back. And I was making a notes because Good. You know, it's important to 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 visualize and rem remember everything. Yes. And actually I think you method is amazing I just I Thank you. I really I just really yeah and I still believe it <laughs> uh, thank you so much it's a wonderful story I'm uh, I'm always so happy when I hear other English learners say that Tiff your method has helped me so much because it makes me want to teach even more so I'm yes. so happy I'm so happy that you jumped right in that makes me happy <laughs> I'm so happy all right so okay so we've talked about the good aspects of English. We're both yes. smiling a lot. We're still happy. But the truth is sometimes English can be hard. So I want to ask you, Alexandra, right now, what is the hardest thing about studying English for you? Uh, I think the, mm, the most, mm, it's not complicated about studying, but I think mm. the writing in English it's it's challenging because mm. you know you write differently than you speak, and even if you can speak com comfortably, mm -hmm. sometimes you need to check the spell, right? Like, like you need mm -hmm. to uh, you need to check this spell check. Is it right? Ah, uh, check <laughs> the, the spelling. Yeah, check the spelling. Yeah, the spelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How to write it. And it's like, but it's really good because actually because of because of you, I write in English right now as well. So wow. it's, uh, it's yes, it's like it's a lot of things I can you know. It's just it's it's not bad. It's actually it's a good thing, and yeah. it's uh, this is the part what I just I I didn't have a opportunity to 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 do before right because even if we write some emails it's usually the pattern or something like that yeah. right and this is this is different when we have a live conversation or i just uh, yeah <laughs> i love it i'm happy to hear that good and in the speaking like a native the program uh, again for those listening and watching like the main focus is helping you alexandra and other members really start thinking in english like a native english speaker and you said, now you're writing. That was a natural result because you're starting to get more comfortable with your ideas and your thoughts and putting them on paper. So I'm very proud of you. Good, keep going. You're doing good. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you so much, teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> it's so, all because of you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Again, I'm, all, I'm so honored to be your I'm teacher. Not, I'm not keeping up. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, no problem. No, I I'm not. It. I just... 
I'm, jo I, I'm joking, but I am, you know, it's just, uh, this is the truth. I really, I really believe that your method is really good. I just, I, I love your videos. I love, I love because you, you use the old sentence, uh, senses we have. Yeah. And actually, you know, it's like, if I see the video, your video, or your, if I use your material, I just, after one video, I remember everything and I wow. don't need to do anything. It's like, you know, it's like a kill two birds with one stone. Because Excellent. I can, <laughs> thank you. Because I can walk, I can listen. And so it's like, I can do something for my body and I can yes. do something for myself, you know, for my mental health. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So let me ask you this then. So I love that you're able to listen as you're walking, taking care of your body and your mind. What do you enjoy the most? I can tell by the smile on your face that you've enjoyed your time being a member of the family, being in the academy. But if you had to pick one thing, let's say someone listening or watching was like, man, Alexandra really loves being in the academy. What is the one thing you enjoy or love the most about being a part of the family? I think the most important thing is that we can meet a lot of people from the whole world. And it's like, we are so different, but yeah. the same in the same time. And it's another thing, but I need to say that because it's very important in the academy that it's a special place. As you always speak, it's like a family and yeah. you can feel it because is the place where nobody judge you, nobody yeah. will say anything bad. You know, the life is bad enough sometimes and it's so hard sometimes. And it's like, this is the place when you can only meet a nice people. Yeah, It's a great place to be. So this is very important to, to, to spend this time. And I love the, you know, how the people encourage each, each other. And this is, this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm always so happy, Alexandra. Thank you for saying that. I'm always so happy when I hear some of our family members say that, that when you first came in, you could feel like it was a family. Because when you think about it, Alexandra, like you said, we are all from different parts of the world, different cultures, different countries, different backgrounds. And you really can't say that many places offer that, where everyone is nice, men, women, young, old. And I'm always very happy when I... I don't comment a lot in our group because I want you all to talk to each other, but I'm always looking. I'm always looking. So I'm always happy when I see you all speaking with each other. And then when you have the private study sessions. So I'm happy to hear that. I'm really happy. Now, that you feel comfortable. Can I tell you the truth or maybe not? <laughs> sure. Your secret is I, safe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, I'm not a person who writes too much in a public uh, space uh, on the chat yeah. but I do the same what you do so <laughs> I really enjoy scrolling and watching what the people say I just really love it it's it's very interesting I I I'm just uh, this kind of person that I just don't don't show show up too much yeah. <laughs> but it's like, I like private conversation and it's like and it's, you know it's like uh I in a it. different way but it's like it's it's amazing how the people can encourage each other so it's it's and how how kind they are yes it's very true um <laughs> i have another question for you <laughs> but something just popped in my head earlier today i was looking at i was scrolling through the messages from our private telegram group and ah, i'm trying to remember his name he he likes to post music videos where he'll sing in his Is car there? Xavier or Xavier? Is it uh, Javier? Because I don't know how to how to say it correct. How was the pronunciation? Yes, Javier. Yes. Did, did you um, see the video he posted today where the filter he had sunglasses and a beard? Yes, he was singing. Well, so, <laughs> <laughs> even things like that. People's personalities. I love people yes. showing their characters and their personalities. So I like it too. Yeah, I like it too because it's so you know it's like for me it's a. It's just in, it's it's so interesting how yeah. how people like to show themselves. <laughs> it's very true, very true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you've been telling us a lot about you know how 
English, basically, once your young, your daughter, who's three years old now, went to school or went to like kind of daycare, now you had some personal time for yourself, right? So you're learning English, able to go on walks and take care of yourself. I want to ask you, how has your life changed after speaking English? What are the things you've realized that have changed? Mm. I can tell you what has changed after I joined the academy. <laughs> sure, yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but it's funny, but I just, I had to get out from my con comfort zone to yeah. speak like a, uh, to speak online. Like we, right yeah. now we are on the online meeting. I just, I never, I've never done this before and mm. it's like it was challenging for me to to do this and I, it's still it's still challenging for me you're doing good but... you're doing amazing <laughs> so much. <laughs> but it's like it's always very stressful for me yeah. I love it because it's but it's all you know if something is new we need to get used to it and it's like yeah but it's, it's just it's really good it's really good to to do something what is what is not so so normal for us so it's like it's still we can improve ourselves or develop ourselves our skills I love that. you know so, i am um, I'm, I'm your english teacher right i'm just guiding you and helping you achieve your goals but something that brings me the greatest joy is when i see for example you just said you know tiffany i have to come out of my comfort zone and speak you know right here in this virtual meeting or you have to speak to the other students i absolutely love watching our family members grow as individuals i've seen so many yes it's english you're learning but when i watch you become a better person or do other things in life just because wait a minute, if I'm confident enough to speak English, I can do anything. So I love watching that happen. I've seen students start YouTube channels or start podcasts, like Fred has started a podcast and yes, yes. another member, Kathy, and some other ones have started YouTube channels. So it really warms my heart when I see you all just flourishing, like just being better people yes. and achieving your dreams. So I love it. I love it. Uh, this is something what I love in you because it's like <laughs> it's like you're a very honest person and it's like wow. in each video we can see that and I can see that it's like as I mentioned before you took my heart and I still believe it's not so easy because I don't you know it's like uh I didn't I think I didn't finish my story with how I joined the, <laughs> the course <laughs> good but anyway I could see <laughs> It's I all right. Speak, uh, maybe <laughs> but it's like, yeah, it's very, it's like, it's very, we can, we can feel it. It's, it. This is the most important. And you are not like a, only a teacher because you are like a mentor. You are like, a, you speak you. about many different topics and it's very important. And it's important from the personal side about, about, about even, you know, we can, you can use it in each part of your life it's like mm. it's very important because you speak not you speak not only about about english so you speak in english and in in english but it's like it's you know you can you can sorry i just got confused a little bit it's okay it's <laughs> but, okay you're doing uh, well you're doing well yeah so it's like uh it's an it's just it's just amazing i really i you really bought me oh <laughs> Well, thank you so much. I, I appreciate that. And um, yes, Alexandra, honestly, I'm glad it comes across. Like I am looking at a camera when I'm recording classes for you all, but yes. I truly love what I do. I truly enjoy like teaching you all. I truly enjoy like in this moment, again, as you probably know, our, our family is very large YouTube channel. I have a lot of work. This time that I'm able to just stop everything and spend it with one person, I love it. Like I just love getting to know you all. And yeah, I, I'm happy every morning that I get to record. So it's real, it's real. <laughs> I really do love it. I do enjoy it. <laughs> I do enjoy it. I feel like, oh, go ahead. You know so many people love you as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to hear that I am. <laughs> 
Yeah. I think everyone is here because of you, because everyone loves you. It's like everyone knows you are you are special. You are not just a regular Aww. teacher. It's something different. It's like it's it's obvious. It's like Aww, thank <laughs> you, you. you don't even have to say this because it's just <laughs> it's Aww. it's like a norm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you learned it. For those listening and watching, yes. this is a new word that <laughs> Alexander learned this month. And you put it into practice. Excellent job. Very good. <laughs> Very good. <Thank> you. <laughs> You're welcome. So let me ask you this then. So you jumped right in. You saw one of the YouTube videos. We connected. I'm so happy that you decided to join our family and you seem extremely happy still. Now, again, I'm your teacher. I'm your guide. I want to help you achieve your goals. So Alexandra, I want to ask you, what is your dream? Regarding English, what's your dream? Are you living your dream right now, or is there something you're working towards? To towards about about English, uh, I wish I could speak like a native, <laughs> uh, like a real native. I wish I could gain as much as much words as much as much expressions and you know everything to feel so comfortable like fish in the water <laughs> yes good <laughs> I, say, I i wish i could know everything of course it's not possible because we can we can gain the knowledge for all our life but i think it's very important for me and i think i would love to work with english like speaking a lot every day in english it's a I love it. It's not so hard because it's and nowadays it's quite popular, right? So right now without English, actually, you probably won't get a job. But yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's it's different when you just you know as I did before in my job, it's just communicate with people or something like that. But it's great to to be in touch to 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 communicate so so nicely. So it's 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 just it's it's very it's it's like i love it i love this feeling and i really love speaking english so <laughs> i love it i love it well i'll say one last encouraging word to you we're not done yet but you said that your dream is to be able to speak english fluently like a native right i want you to think about when you first came to the academy i want you to think about how much you were able to express, how you felt when you were speaking in English. Also realizing you and I have been speaking for almost 30 minutes in English. I'm a native English speaker. Everything you've said, I've totally understood. I've enjoyed your stories. You've told stories. You use the fundamentals, right? You told stories and examples. So the reason I'm saying this is because you are closer to achieving your dream than you even realize. You're already speaking with a native English speaker. I'm listening, I'm understanding, I'm enjoying, I'm sitting here, yes, that was good. You're already closer to your dream than you realize. So keep doing what you're doing, keep studying hard, and I guarantee you are gonna achieve your dream. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> yes. Now I. Can you give some advice? I know there are other English learners that are watching and listening. First, they're like, man, Alexandra is so happy. She's just a happy person, right? She's not nervous. Can you give some advice to other English learners? What would you tell them? Oh, yes. This is my life advice. Just mm. set the goal and achieve it and achieve the goal. Mm. And we could say that's it, but it's not the end. The most important during achieving the, your goals, you have to set them, write them, write them down yes. on the paper, and then you can set the small goals to achieve them, and then enjoy the journey because yes. this is the most important. Not only the goal, but the mm. most important is our journey and the way we are we are going through because. We can we can see in the end that not only the the goal was the most important for us, but the whole journey gave us so much experience, and the new experiences are building us. And I think yeah. this is the most important to enjoy because whatever we do with love, with 
it's much more easier and better. And this is my advice. <laughs> I love it. Everyone, I a thousand percent, one hundred percent agree with Alexandra. I love that. I love that piece of advice. Yes. Yes. Now, Alexandra, before we end, again, I've enjoyed this conversation. Do you have any questions for me? You can ask me whatever you'd like. I'm an open book. <laughs> oh, thank you. I was, you know, on the beginning when I, I am very goal oriented person, but when I heard your goal the first time, I was like, wow, how do you want to do this? I am also the financial pe person and I really <laughs> think <laughs> of numbers and yes. I'm like, wow, one billion students. But in the end, I <laughs> actually, I know your answer because I think um, uh, you've already, oh, you've already answered to, to Chris, right? Because <laughs> I know. And <laughs> you can say, but, you can say it, it's okay. <laughs> yeah 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 I just uh, I am I am very impressed I am impressed but I really believe you can do this because you yeah. believe in this goal and I think you will and I just I was thinking about this after after I've heard this because you said uh, that you want some you know you want to share your knowledge for other teachers for yeah. teachers all around the world yeah for, for whose it's not the first language, right? So this yes. is very impressive. And I love the sentence you said, even if I if I will die or something yeah. like that, right? Yeah. They will yeah. Still... I was thinking this is pretty amazing because it's like it's it's even even you would you like to yeah, so I have a question for you. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. This... So do you think it's a, like did you think about this to make a methodology to you know, to teach some, you know, to set it as a methodology for, for other, for the kids, for, because I think so in so many countries, the way of teaching is so bad. It's, uh, you know, we just that, you know, the people are trying to, to, of course, grammar is important, but if you focus only on grammar, you will never speak in English. And right now, as I mentioned, it has changed, but still, I think so many, you know, in the private schools, right? And but yeah. it's, it hasn't changed at schools because they still trying to teach kids uh, thousands of words and and thousands of you know even if there is no connection for sentences and stuff like that. Yeah. So did you think about this? <laughs> so ironically, I'm trying to see if it's behind me. Um, <laughs> I actually, I'll give you a little sneak peek um, to answer your question. Yes. I actually oh. am working with a lawyer and everything. I've this notebook literally it says ESL teacher training. This has my entire methodology and I'm putting it into a program to be offered online because I honestly want to help other teachers because I've seen the effect it's had on our family members. So many people have more confidence now. So yes, I actually have a teaching methodology and I'm going to be creating this online program for ESL teachers to learn. And I'm also planning to eventually travel to certain countries to train the ESL teachers. Um, because like you mentioned, when I lived in South Korea, um, I worked with so many amazing English teachers. They were amazing individuals. And I also realized that there was a limit to their teaching skills, not because yeah. they weren't intelligent, but because no one had taught them the skill they needed to take their students to the next level. So I watched so many of my other friends that were Koreans and they taught English, they could only go to maybe the lower intermediate level teaching their students. When it got to the advanced level, they automatically pointed to us as native English speakers. So over my time, I realized they're smart enough. It's just they don't have the tools. If I could only give them the tools, everything would change. And I, I watched kids, you know, memorizing thousands of words, like you mentioned, without making any connection. And it wasn't a fault of the teachers because the teachers were just following the methodology they had always been following. But I had one class, and I may or may not have told this story. 
I tested my methodology out on kids. I did it on adults first and it worked. Children are amazing because as adults, you know, Alexander, we have so many experiences. So it takes us a little bit longer to learn new things because we hear it, then we process, we have our own opinions and then we follow. Kids learn and follow. They kind of do whatever they're taught to do. So I, I tested my methodology out on kids. Actually, you mentioned earlier you wanted to improve your writing. I have a methodology for teaching kids how to write, anybody how to write better in English. In less than a week, these students, Korean students, each of them wrote a two page paper in English that was written just like a kid in America because of the methodology. So I realized these kids are smart, their teachers are smart. They're only missing the tools. So yes, I'm excited about teaching these tools and helping other teachers because alone, it's impossible. When I started, I love math as well. I know you're dealing with accounting. I love math, so I love numbers. So I literally, in my notebook, one day I'll show you all, I literally worked it out, how to get to 1 billion students. I worked, the whole page is just numbers and how many teachers are needed, how many students per year. With me by myself, impossible. But if I build a family of English teachers, we can do it together. And I would be so happy if even after I pass away, God forbid, people are still learning from the methodology and still speaking with confidence and still achieving their dreams. So that's honestly my long-term dream to have a legacy that lives on beyond my life. So, yeah. Amazing teacher. I, <laughs> I think you will do this. I, I, actually, I believe it's, uh, you will absolutely do this. I just love the way of your, how, how diligent, diligent you are. And it's, it's just uh, amazing. I love it. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Well, thank you for asking that question. I was happy to answer it. So yeah. <laughs> well, Alexandra, I have enjoyed this conversation. Again, I'm so happy that you're a part of our family and I'm so honored to be your teacher. Thank you so much, teacher. It was an honor. And thank you so much again for giving us this opportunity to, to, to talk to you. Oh, uh, you're welcome. One -on -one conversation. It, just, it's, it was an amazing experience. Oh, good. I'm glad <laughs> you enjoyed you. it. Well, Alexandra, I hope you have a oh, good yeah. night. I hope you have a good night. I know it's late there. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. And thank your husband, too. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, please tell him I said hello. All right, have a good night, hon. Thank you, thank you so much. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs>